still it to the top here. So, guys, um, I just want you guys to watch this video about um, a guy that um, lives in Ghana. He never traveled before. He, he built his own business with his friends. And I'm making this video to encourage somebody. All right? So watch this video. Please watch to the end. Because after this guy, there's another story behind that. And please um, search for these guys and watch their videos, especially um, Obinda Akun Network. That guy is such a brilliant guy that I've been watching him and I follow him everywhere he goes because I like wisdom. People who make so much sense and give you a lot to think about so watch this video all right thank you thank you so much and please subscribe give me a thumbs up thanks till it's to the top here bye and you pay all your life they build a house for you you have to use half of your years on earth to pay a house which is four bedroom that's it's, a, it's an extension of a system that dehumanizes a human being. And, and thank God those systems are not so much widespread here. So once you have a level of awareness, you'll be able to build something like that. And that is where freedom comes from. And most of these structures that you have built around the world, is not built on your freedom and on your peace. They are built on you being used and destroyed. And it doesn't matter your career, it doesn't matter your profession. The financial structure of the white man of the West is built to extract everything from you, to invade you, to destroy you. And that's the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. So my name is Obinda I'm saying that. James. Um, yeah, I'm going to go to Akra. Akra, yeah, Akra. Okay. But... I'm going to go to Akra boy. Yeah, I'm Akra boy. Yeah, Akra boy. Who is the SHS? Who is the SHS? SHS yeah. Okay, yeah, man. 2013. Okay, 2013. Then, then, why? Because I know there was a coffee shop. Kent Coffee Shop. Kent Shop Coffee Shop. But it was North Legon. North Legon. Yeah, it was Papa's Pizza. Yeah. And it was a coffee shop. It was a coffee shop. Okay. And then, so, I had my baby back in the West Hills. What do you mean now? I was a mother care. Mother care, I don't know what to do. Kent. Can't care, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. And also dance woman. Oh, okay. And I'm a boutique. And also boutique need a year complete. Okay. But most of the time, my idea is involving the baby. I send employment. I have a security company coming on. Ah, and also you have to say, you have to say, employment, you have to create employment. I'm a full baby, so I didn't. I didn't do my What came about about this furniture? No, no. Tama. Maybe school, maybe SHS. No, it's the cool, cool, cool. But I say, my father is stand. I'm a yard. I have my co, and I like friends very much. So now I meet me so I then, I go to Bobi, I go to. From teaching, no, and I'm in a security job. The only thing I'm a casting, the person is security. Anything I have knowledge about, no, I don't want it to go wasted. I do be a my co, I go to be a Bobi, Bobi, and I want to imply it in life. So now I be a. A bit boy, because I know it. Don't go out. We be go school for. It be a law school for seven years for to do something. But I mean, on opportunity, I'm swimming. I say, I'm going to do Juma or be business. I have to learn from there. So now we implement it. Mm. So me, I'm I'm coerced. Good. Into me, I'm going to security a Juma company in India, but I was marketing for them. Into me, try and I'm there at two online. Now me, they can cry then. Na maton na mesma eden me nya kakra. So I saw say the business was good then time and then the business was good meaning I have to do something about it. And friends were the a whole lot of friends are no more some money eden omo nya ejuma. To ko ba aje bi a en ko tena ha en didi ni anam si no they have to create something so that we or because they do baby na ye en so ye hu our ejuma ni ni so tie. Na say na si ye bi shop na ye so ye ejuma because the demand was going high. Because any age you are coming and see why you didn't know is even it's locally made. Then I said we have to do something. At that time, we must save it. I cry. Then we took it the risk. Then we go far. Scan our bank. Then we go cry. I got to tow machines. Then I then pay workers. Then we started small. 
I need your turn online. The turn out on Facebook, IG. I need the turn. When I do so sell furniture around, especially La Paz, for any idea, no. Because of how quality the product is, no. Some people are fat. The truth that Kakan Kakan is human, no more than. A whole lot of carpenters, tailors, go for, and we try to we get the best people so that the work can be quality. We started doing all this and so for people when you have a special order you want us to do. Mm. And to be frank, the and 40 yes. staff. Wow. Yeah. How much do you get your mocha? Me to a week. 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 a week. You can confirm. So, okay, you can ask them. When you are earning a thousand two a week, Omo mo pama. That's a floor near there. Your direct workers, near here then. A year juma or coffee shops here, we're getting to seventeen workers, including managers. And also here too. And also because of say, I've been in the coffee business for that long. You know, I decided that then I have to veer there because I have a knowledge about, about it. it and make it happen. Okay. And see, I know. Minister Muye. Uh, Akunya, Akunya. Yeah, let me ask you this. What are some of the challenges that you've been facing for the past year and a half? Challenges, but the most important ones and so I mean we need more hands, hands. more and support. Important. So. We get them from Accra and you know we'll be in a Kofaba or then the actors wakoto faster. Imagine this money I'm paying every week. The imagine says a yamwa, now your container, ubi a leather, so far. All the materials we use in doing the work. Now you the bar. The bema cost now you then I could form we can produce more, a bit more for more people. Bit me so training for four bibri, almost bit my marketing no, I'm almost so many age mind. Imagine see our ten branches you moon now, now at least every branch is employing life because it beana hanefi. In running in a gun hanew, I Africa. That's the best way to acquire mobile data. Can you understand better? It's very. It is very difficult to me. Quite to me, the need to have it to me complete, no very good and nice. Now you import it, export it, it brings revenue to the country. Now the government can also see come to our aid. No, I support you. I dare you because you see, I'm poor now. Keep trying and keep your employee. This is the need to be careful. I'm buying the boy and the money. See, I'm money. You see, I'm meaning. I be create a whole lot and the whole. Place and said any factory be a year, year boy youth. So, so be a go Kenten furniture and a Facebook and so I can't tell furniture by my number uh, as a director. Uh, in terms of Ubi Bank or for Bua of furniture company showroom, a person be very product. You know, now started working with us and then we are open. Okay. You know, a person by Jenny and Mani, but very quality. You know, no, but all those big, big companies they can come and see what we have. And if they I know we're so born so I know so my number is 0547 0547 Okay. And different designs. Okay. And yeah, queen size. Queen size baby. Before the king size. Uh, uh, your, your king size. Your... Then the, the, the last one. Last one is king size. King size. And then you queen or double. It's a double near bigger than king size. Double near. Uh, double near such a queen. As not king, king size number. That's fine. Chicken near your bow. Okay. And now we are. Uh, we are sofa set. Okay. Uh -huh. Three in one, two seater, and two singles. Oh, okay. Okay. Now we are leather. We are leather set. Okay. Uh -huh. Tiwao Fili. Zani busa. Busa. Okay. Ah, you be ongoing one na ye ye na. Okay. These are some of them. Okay. It's where they are they? Where Otuma? Where L shape? No, the long, the longer side. Hmm. Hmm. Where Beba? Ansana, Bakubi. Where no? Ebe share we ne ni Ansana ne dia beda so. Okay. Where me chew? Ebe share dia chew. No one know how I. Okay. Bibia start if you. If you ask, okay. Mm -hmm. With mm. the sizes I have pen on. Now you a drawer spray. Okay. So that a mointy man yet. In your any. In your any. Okay. A mointy man yet. Yes, spray. 
me overnight. Then I buy a bacon. Hmm. Then you have flame. Yeah, flame works. Okay. Machines. Then I make them. The BBI, the trouble. We are managing to use them to do it very well. So in case they are big ones, I imagine the production we are going to. Okay. Then I need to cut. Okay. Then we have flame. Then we add the. Hmm. Then I'm more. Okay. Now, but middle side means the foam work. Okay. Then I have a head. Foam side. Then here first stage of foam. Then here for. At the end, body is very thin. Every back, and then the tie work needs to be a card, needs to be a. Hmm. Also, the back. See, catch up. Okay. Mm-hmm. So let's go inside. Sorry, let's go inside and see how production is done here. What kind of furniture? Yeah. This is like seventy percent done. Here, it's your boss. Then we are going to take the legs. Okay. The hana is from a sewing. Sewing of materials. Okay. We have four people sewing. Okay. We do hana inside. Hmm. There are one here. As a muso. Okay. They sew. Okay. The materials that we put them inside. So when you come, I think that you have to be absolutely positive, in spite of all the negatives that you see. Ghana is about. The number one country that had independence in 1957. We are just about 50, 60 something, 60, 63 years old. In, in that 63 years old, half of it were military experiment. Kwame Nkrumah's first five years or so was good. We you know were good eight years. The latter part was always fighting with his people, with his team, with his external, with his external factors. You know, when Kwame Nkrumah was overthrown, the next year or so. IMF and all those organizations started to give Ghana uh, uh, loans and they started to take mineral concessions for uh, European and American companies. Why do you think they wanted him out? Because he was not dealing with that. And they thought that he would go uh, to Russia and to those other countries. The interest has been money. So all these military coup d'etats that happened, they took half of our years, which should have we should have used to develop. Ghana is just a creation. It's a recent creation. Before 1957, Ghana existed as a as Gold Coast, as they say. Who called that Gold Coast? It was gold which was here. But Ghana, as we know it, is just recent. And half of it were used by as experiment by military boys. The other one that they called democracy, even those leaders who trained. So when you come here and you are complaining about the roads, the water, uh, the institutions that work that don't work. Maybe, maybe I'm offering excuses, but you should also know that if you want to compare a country like that to countries that have been around for 100 years, 200 years, with cheap labor, free labor, invasions everywhere, taking minerals everywhere to develop, you can't compare like that. It will take a while. It will take a while. You're not making excuses. So I have to say that we as Africans must be absolutely positive about Africa. If you come here, you must be positive. Look for the good things. Some of them talk about how if anybody fails him in the chain, he will fail you. A lot of things that are done in business are done, you know, out of continuity. You are taking information from somebody. So if he's failed, maybe he's not able to come and hurt your feelings and be that blatant with you. That is the culture. Can we improve on that? Maybe. But what even shows that we must improve on that? Because a lot of these management structures around the world is not so much and the standard. Much of it is inhumane. You know, it, it, it's, it's built out of more treatment of human lives. So when you come and you say that they are not straightforward, they are not honest, one, we should identify the kind that you're dealing with, the size of the business you're dealing with, the people that you have dealing with. What is the level of the expertise? What is the value level? What is the trust level? You can't just pick anybody, work with them, and when things don't go well, then you say that it's like that. It's not like that. We are forcing. We are pushing. You make a bag, and it's very nice. Somebody will say, ah, it's made in Ghana. Is that true? That's the kind of conditioning that we have. But when it's bad, nobody will say, is that true? That, that bad bag was made in Ghana? <laughs> when we come, those are the eyes that we are using to judge ourselves. And I'm saying that you have to reprogram that. You have to decode those things. Or you'll be frustrated. Because the big picture is not for you to just come and have comfort and even build a house or build a business. But the big picture is to build a force, an African force, that can withstand these, these powerful forces that have, that have uh, subjugated us for years. 
That is the agenda. The agenda is for you to lift these people to be aware of themselves and to work together to take advantage of the, all the blessings that the Almighty has given us. Yes. They must put it in books, put it on the internet, put it in videos, let people be aware. Because these are the things that are uh, debunking some of the things that we grew up with, some of the lies that we grew up with, some of the errors that we grew up with. What would make the average African believe that he, if he goes to America, he will succeed? What will make the average African believe that he needs he needs American passport to succeed? It's the programming. It's not true. It's not true. The moment you have the right financial information, the moment you have the right business skills, if it's about money, you can succeed anywhere in the world. In Ghana, you can build. If you if you understand money, the systems that run money, if you understand wealth and has created if you understand entrepreneurship business structures if you have any skill if you can spot business need you don't need visa to go and work anyway to be prosperous no especially wealth that is created out of fulfillment and out of out of ingenuity you, when you need your brain to create wealth once you can think and be responsible be hard working be honest and feed on knowledge to build anything. You don't need to travel anywhere. We have done that in Ghana. We have built something in Ghana just by believing that we can do it. And I can tell you that a lot of our mates that move somewhere, probably, <laughs> are not close to what we've been able to build over the last 10 or 15 years. You know, So, so it's not so much, it's a lie for me to complete school in Ghana and, and not look at any opportunity in Ghana. And I think that I have to travel to England, to you know, a lot of these areas to give a start and to have a fair chance at life. It's a program, it's not true. A lot of these lies that they have told us. The problem is believing that if I'm a doctor in Ghana and somebody is a doctor in America, that person is better. That's a lie. If I'm a doctor in Ghana and I can get some basic salary, I can build wealth, give myself 15 years. If I have proper knowledge, I can build wealth. If a mechanic in Ghana, if I'm, if I'm able to save some little money and have good formation, I'll be able to grow that seed from there. Be, don't be so much negative when you come to Africa. Don't be so much negative. If nothing at all you visit, be positive. <laughs>